Welcome to The Little Holding. Over two years ago, we bought a multi-generational small holding in Somerset with an aim to have a better way of life. During the pandemic, our priorities in life changed. We wanted to be more self-sufficient, live in a greener space and have more financial freedom. We decided to start documenting our journey on this channel and although we have successfully done so, we probably haven't uploaded as much as we would have liked to. It's been two months since our last upload on this channel, so we thought you would do an update. vegetable garden is still full of life but I mean not that much life it's definitely coming to the end of everything we've still got a few cucumelons we've still got a few pumpkins we've got a few beans some sweet potatoes that still need to be picked um, Jerusalem artichokes things like that tubers other than that it's a bit sad oh we also have some inca berries which are really tasty can't quite believe that inca berries such like a tropical tasting fruit can grow in the UK in this kind of climate but yeah they're, they're really tasty anyway as usual I went on a bit of a tangent where do I start we've been away for quite a long time I think we'll start with Ryan creating a food truck which to some of you may be a little bit out of the blue I'm just gonna get him to talk about it welcome to my uh, food fan hey I know it doesn't look like much at the moment, but uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I'm currently in the process of ripping everything out of it. Um, it wasn't in the best state when I bought it. I thought it was in a bit of a better state. I'm just stepping through the food van. A little bit of a mess at the moment, but we're getting there. My dad re-welded this back on. Um, showed me how to weld, so I'm a... Uh, Currently at stage of being a very bad welder, um, a ho hobbyist I think they call them. So I did this bit with my, my dad's supervision and then I have just done this bit all on my own. Uh, needs a little bit of tidying up but yeah, structurally sound. Um, floor still needs to go in, sides need to come off, new sides need to go on. And then, yeah, I need to work out insulation, flooring, worktops, a lot to be done. But yeah, good project. Uh, and then I'll be able to cook and set food out of here. It takes a long time. And uh, for any of you that are new parents, uh, time, time, time is very short, especially when you have to work full time. But make use of those weekends, evenings. Um, a lot of new skills to learn. But yeah, it's going to be good. The sun. As you can see, the polytunnel is starting to come bare again. We've taken the majority of our tomato plants down. It stresses me out a little bit thinking that I probably didn't film that much content on this YouTube channel of the polytunnel full. Um, that annoys me a little bit. So next year I need to make sure that I do more of that. I'm just going to move that so that, oh gosh, the sun. Maybe... There's nowhere. Maybe just this way. <laughs> the next massive thing I have to talk to you about is the fact that we're on TV, which seems absolutely crazy. Very, very exciting. Essentially, I just got an email. I know, I got a message on Instagram asking if we'd like to be on Escape to the Country. And I said yes. <laughs> and now we're on Escape to the Country on TV, on BBC iPlayer. I'll put the link in the description. It definitely shows the power of social media. I mean, I always knew the power of it anyway. My sister and I like have done some crazy things in our lifetime um, from our old YouTube channel. But I guess I kind of forgot a little bit. The string's still here from the tomato plants. Uh, living my country life, I kind of forgot. And um, yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> we watched that show Escape to the Country so much when we were looking for a home to move to. It's just really interesting to watch what other people are looking for, the process, what houses are out there. And so to be asked to be on it as one of their like in quotation success stories, I guess, because basically they do a new segment at the end of each episode where they show a family that have moved to the countryside and we were that family and we we talked on there. Well, actually, I'm not going to tell you what we talked about on there, but you can watch it. Anyway, I guess it just kind of showed the power of social media and I kind of gave up a little bit. What I was trying to say in a long, not so clear way was that sometimes I doubt myself. When I was younger and I had my old YouTube channel, The Mandeville Sisters, with my sister, I felt really confident with the content that we were putting out. And now I doubt myself every time I go to upload on here. I worry that the content's boring, I question my own purpose, should I be doing this, should I focus my attention on something else? I think it's probably happened since having Arthur, and to be honest, it's probably just linked to my own lack of confidence and nothing to do with this channel. So, when we were asked to be on Escape to the Country, because of the content that we put out here online, along with the most fun I've had in a long time when filming this TV show, it made me realise that I really want to continue putting content out on here. I want to feel more confident doing so, and I think it's definitely going to be a New Year's resolution of mine. Sorry, the kitchen, I mean, it's not too messy, but it's just not looking as like picturesque as I would like it. Uh, I've just changed my outfit because I was just filming a TikTok. I've created, I've got my own personal TikTok account, but I've also got a TikTok account um, for mine and my mum's new like business, which I don't think I've spoken about on here. Sorry, I just realised my belt. There we go, let's do that. So my mum and I have been, well, my mum's been growing flowers since my sister's wedding and we actually decided to first press them then because we thought she might need some for like some form of decorations or something. My, um, for my wedding, we actually pressed flowers and we did it as like, wrote each person's name on it and told them which table to go to, like a seating plan kind of thing. So we thought she might have wanted to do that, but in the end actually she did something different. So then when we, after the wedding, we opened the flower press and looked at the flowers and we were like, wow, we need to be doing something with these. You know, they looked really pretty. Let's not waste them. And so we had a little play around that first we thought about doing like greeting cards and then we decided to like start creating a piece of art. The idea was actually just to create a piece of art for our own house, for the hallway upstairs, because we don't really have much art going on there and we love art. So we started playing around and I started sharing it on Instagram and then you guys said that you absolutely loved, loved it. And so we started to think of creating it as a bit of a business. I love everything I do, as we've already spoken about in this vlog, but there's something really nice about using your hands or hand in my case. We've already ordered the prints. I need to create the website. Um, and the idea is we're going to create original art and then we're going to sell the prints, num numbered, limited, signed prints of each piece of artwork. Once they're gone and sold, they're gone. They actually look beautiful. I'm not joking, I'm actually really impressed with the quality of the print. That's what I mean by beautiful. I'm not telling you that my artwork is beautiful. That would be a bit big-headed. But the actual quality of the print, you wouldn't really know that it's not actual pressed flowers. The only reason you would know is because it, it doesn't fade like pressed flowers, flowers do. It looks still like the day we made it, uh, the finished piece. Um, and I'm really, really happy with them. So yeah, we've got our, one, our first piece launching very soon. Hopefully within the next few days after this video is up. If you want to know more about it, I've got a TikTok account, um, which I'll put in the description below, specifically on um, the flower pressing stuff. I also have my own personal TikTok. But also we have a newsletter, which is kind of the best way to keep updated on everything we're doing. It's essentially a summary of all the projects we're working on, our thoughts for the week, anything we, you, we think you might be interested in. Quite a few of you have already subscribed to that. It'll essentially end up in your inbox, your email inbox, once a week. Um, and it won't involve too much reading. It'll have, like last week's had like a link to a recipe we like the look of, a link to the book we liked, we're talking about being on TV. So yeah, 
um, that's probably a really good way for you guys to stay updated in like a nice concise way if you're interested. Anyway, I should probably get on with uh, cutting these because Arthur's is having a nap and he won't stay asleep for long. I'm basically making crispy, crispy mushrooms um, to put on an omelette and then like put with like chili oil and stuff, kind of like a bit uh, with some soy sauce. Mm. I never used to like mushrooms till I had Ryan's and he makes them go crispy and they're so tasty. Uh, the key to it is basically to put a load of butter in with them. So it's quite a healthy dish that then turns very unhealthy very quickly. And that doesn't look very pretty, but is my go-to snack. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Where have we been? We've been all over the place. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you interact with it. It means a lot. Like, <laughs> there's no other way to grow on YouTube these days than that or having a lot of watch time, which means like watching the video all the way through. Um, it's hard because they don't really promote videos that haven't aren't monetized and our videos aren't monetized. So yeah, I'd really appreciate that. If you're interested in our newsletter or TikTok or anything, then click the link in the description and um, yeah, we'll see you soon.